So in this video we're going to examine the timing controller board on a panel and see whether our problem that we're exhibiting is caused by a tab problem. I'll show you what this set is doing. We turn it over, we turn it on. We've got some picture element missing here and a big section missing right in the middle of the screen. And we've got a green line over here. I don't know if I can do anything about the green line, but so here's our picture. I've got the set obviously upside down. But as you can see, we've got a green line over here. We've got some missing picture information here, and we've got a black strip down the middle. This is a TV that fell over, and the last time I turned this on, we had beautiful colored lines down the front of the screen. And what we're going to look at this time is we're going to look to see if we've broken the connection on one of the tabs. So I've removed the screws here. We're going to remove the shield from the TCON board. We'll actually check the connections between the TCON board and the panel. Now this set, when it fell, it would have been mounted on a stand. And the stand fits right in through the base here, which would put a hell of a lot of stress right in this area of the board uh, of the television when it hit the ground. So we're going to open up the timing controller shield here and take a look at the tabs that connect the panel to the timing controller and see whether perhaps we have a broken tab or a bad connection in here. So these are the tabs that I'm talking about. If these two connectors on the timing controller, which take the signals from the timing controller through to the panel, and they have a tendency for connections to go bad on these ribbons or on the actual ICs, which are on the tabs that go right to the glass itself. These two connectors connect to a board that runs underneath here, and then there's several sets of tabs which go to the actual panel at various at, at various spacings that actually have drive ICs on them and it could be a failure of one of those drive ICs how they're bonded to the tab itself they use a technology called hot bar which basically it's an IC that is fused to one of these flexible PCs en route from the timing controller to the actual panel itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try and reseat these connectors I do that just by flipping up the little tab on here. And we'll just wiggle the connector out and back in. Now you have to be really careful because these these uh, these tab connectors are very, very fragile. So I'm just gonna again lift up the edge of the tab here. Close it back down and we'll look at the screen and see if we've made any difference. So if we release one of the tabs, because each of these tabs controls half of the screen, and as you can see, if I release one tab, we do have a screen problem here for sure because we've got a black line down the screen. We also have a bright, a solid green line down the screen here. So this does definitely have a screen problem. But part of our problem in the middle here appears to be a tab-related problem. As I close down the tab, you'll see... I can get a picture. And if I just play with this tab a bit here, we might even be able to change it. We may not be making a good connection here in the tab, or it even could be the connector itself. But we actually are able to get some information here, as you can see as I'm moving my finger around it. We are able to control the panel. So the, the panel on this part, this part of the panel is okay. It's just not communicating with the timing controller. So I'm going to work on this tab a bit here. But we're still going to have a screen problem for sure because we've got a Look at that, and we got a bright green line over here on this uh, screen, but we might be able to salvage something. So I now have the screen torn down to expose the tabs that connect the panel to the interconnect boards here. 
and we have one side of the screen here off this board and the other side of the screen off this board. This goes to the T-Con. Here's our, our, our flat cable through to the T-Con. And as you can see, I, I, I'm just touching the connectors. It's not making any difference whatsoever. Oh, wait a minute. When I touch that one, we may have a bad tab here. See, that made a difference to the picture when I'm just touching this tab right in here. Of course, if we get a close-up of what's, what is in these tabs, this is actually the drive IC here. You can see it. If we look through the tab, you can see the actual drive IC on there. I don't know if I can get in any closer than that with this camera. I guess that's about as close as I can get. But you can see that this is actually an IC that's underneath here. And it's put on with what's called a hot bar technique. And it passes the signals from the timing controller through these are the inputs here and then all the outputs from the IC go around and connect down to individual connectors that, that basically drive each line of the actual panel and I, I think where our problem on this is this, this IC itself there's a problem here it's not making a connection it probably got severed when it dropped and that's what the problem with the panel is The very fact though that my symptom changed, as you can see, I went from all the little colored lines to, I've almost got a picture there now, but it's just this strip is, is buggered up. I also got another line over here in the picture and I've got a green line over on the edge of the screen. So, I mean, we do have, definitely have a panel problem. It's not just, it's not just the connections from the timing controller. It's actually on these tabs here where our problem is.